we have two major oil companies you know um uh, what they call it refineries as you stated i don't know where they are maybe they are still existing maybe they are not but i know for sure we have petrochemical in now uh, element uh, i think there is one in kaduna when the oil is being gotten from the Niger delta so the fundamental problem or the fundamental thing that we need to be focusing on we are leaving it and we are discussing something else how could you come to Niger Delta to get crude oil, refine it elsewhere, or maybe refine it in Niger Delta, destroy the soil, destroy their water? They don't have fish in their water. They don't have fertile land. Everything destroyed. But the headquarters is located in Abuja. The headquarters, they pay taxes in Abuja. Now you have another one taken to Lagos State. In the name of Angote. Angote will be paying taxes in Lagos State. When the real crude oil is taken from Niger Delta, the, the impact of that exploration, the Niger Delta people are the ones feeling it. They are the ones paying for all these things. But the taxes have been gained in another state. How does that make sense? And somebody like Nam Dekano is fighting for this. Let the owners of these resources take care of their resources. Some people hated him. God bless you with these resources. You should be able to take care of it, reap from it. It is yours. Maybe give to the um, federal government some token. Some people said no, and you're here fighting. Go to Niger Delta. The real people that own this oil are suffering. Just a select few of the, you know, the cabals, you know, those that the cabals are using, not that they are even part of the cabals. They are errand boys, like the Ataki, Ataki Toms and all those stupid, um, um, what they call it, um, the one that is fat, I don't want to, I don't know his name, the other one. They are the one being used. They are the one eating fat. The people are suffering. No fish, no fertile line, nothing. The people are suffering.